Hello and what's up everybody. This is Pete Sharma from Speed Academy and in this video we're gonna work with your rows and column in CSS as we have already worked with rows and column in uh, when we are working in, with tables in HTML. So you all know what rows and columns are. Similarly we have rows and columns in our CSS and what rows are, uh, as you can see over here, I have created a file in which I have created a div tag of class name your rows and five different div tag with the class name column one, column two, column three, column four, and column five. You can give a class name as per your wish. I have if call one, call two, so that it is easy to understand. Uh, easy to is for you to understand that there are the different columns and. You can work with uh, column 12 up to column 12 in this uh, because uh, I'll let, I will tell you later on in this video. And so, as you can see over here, I have created a columns over here and have given a background color to every of your sorry, okay. your every div tag a different background color so it is easy for you to understand this this is your different section this is your different column this is your different rows and all so let me show you the output first and then we will start working with the styling part as you can see i have not done anything in it i have only given the your body color over here body background and i have given the uh, using the universal selector and now you can see that in between the universal selector I have given the specify the size of your box size is equal to border box and as we all know that uh, whatever the style we give in the between the your uh, universal selector it will go into uh, style your entire web page so now what you can uh, understand in simple words that your box sizing over here is equal to border box means it will include your uh, paddings and border of an element for its total width and height so uh, the number of division tag present on your web page are now having the same size okay and your data will no not stack on each other now as uh, we have created over some your team class name rows and columns so start let's start working with them so uh, let's just take, grab our row class over here and i'm going to give a display type of flex over here and a width of your 100 percent so it is mobile responsive and display flex means your, your data will be going to align in a row wise okay guys and what uh, your display top flex has many different properties so we will work with the when we are working with your display properties then we i'm going to tell you all the properties about your flex and grace and many other displays are display with different properties are there so as for now, just you can understand that display flex is going to uh, order your data in your row wise. Okay. And now I'm gonna just use my pseudo sector over here. As we have, uh, as I already told you in my previous video, what pseudo sectors are and how they work. So I'm gonna just use a pseudo sector after. So by using the uh, I have grabbed your row class over here and I have put two colors and then after and what it means that it was going to uh, whenever a new row is created uh, whatever is style we, whatever the style we gave over here it going to uh, uh, your style in your new rows okay and now let's just give a style of your display is to be blocked so by specifying the display is equal to block means your uh, whatever the elements present on a block will now have these uh, your same size and all and uh, display block will going to uh, break the line of the elements as we use the uh, line break tag for breaking the uh, lines uh, that is the br tag same as your display block will done over here it will break the line between the two blocks between the two division tags or any of the elements okay now let's just move on to the clear property so i'm going to give the clear property over here to both and now what your clear property means uh, as uh, we have worked with your float properties in our previous video and i have also given an assignment to using the float property 
as you can uh, so you uh, you all know that when we use the float property then the data ma might be stacked on each other overlaps the uh, your one content and another to another so uh, here here we don't want to uh, collapse the, your data and your content so we are using the clear both and your clear mode will going to remove the any of the float property if you have given to your any of the element in it and now i'm gonna give a content another property content and a null string over here okay guys and what does it mean that whenever you insert a fresh data it will going to be it will it means you are inserting a fresh data with null string okay your every content going to be freshly inserted in your new columns or rows in new rows okay sorry and as we have used in our five classes over here five call class similarly you can use a number of classes over here so i'm gonna use for example your sorry as we have got in this class so i have to put the dot and then the class and you have to only give the width property over here in percentage uh, why i'm going to tell why i'm telling you to give it in the percentage because uh, so that it will be your mobile responsive similarly just let's just give as we have created five columns over there so let's just give to your example any percent so it will be your mobile mobile responsive and call three with a fifty percent for example and your call four and with a forty three percent for example Sorry. and your last one is call five for example seventy five percent Okay, guys. After saving this, you, know, you can see that no changes may be occur over there. And you can see no changes are over here. So uh, let's just give some name to our div text, some, add some content to our div text. So I'm just adding what column one, column two, and column three. So I'm just adding the numbers to it. So your data. Is visible to you or in your uh, when you open up the load your which web page okay as you can see we have created uh created one row with the five columns and each column having the different width as we have set over there so this is your one two and three and four and five so let's just uh increase the height so it is easily visible to you guys so i'm gonna just change its height to To 50 pixel guys maybe it might be quite visible to you i guess yeah just check it out first okay guys no now it is quite visible to you all okay and now i'm gonna show you how to work with different selectors over here and one more thing guys that uh and i've used the column five over here uh, call one two three four five you can take this to up to your column 12 okay guys and why i'm telling you that you can take this to column 12 because when we are working with you when we start working with your bootstrap so in your bootstrap library your uh, pre-installed columns are there so pre-installed libraries are there and in like li these libraries you are having the column size which is varies from your column 1 to column 12 and which is set like this only as we are working in this uh, here only so your same data will be working with, is all uh, present over in the libraries when we are working with your bootstrap so for that you have to wait because as for now we are just going to cut the uh, uh, css over here only and i'm gonna just use this uh, attribute selector over here sorry i don't know what the heck is just happening in my computer whenever i press in the serial content will automatically write it out 
So, and now what it means that uh, your class, whatever the class having the class name, sorry, uh, class uh, which is starting or ending with your call, call dash, will going to have the properties which are which we are going to assign over here. So I'm just gonna give it the broader of your, for example, five pixels solid uh, and let's just take a color of RGB color maybe can you change it and let's just set a color of something any of the color you want let's just change uh, let's just take a pink color over here so hey, wait for a second yeah I have not selected pink color okay and I select a pink color over here and I'm going to just specify some pairing to it so it will be uh, separated by some distance in between that so now you can see my output when I open it that your uh, border uh, all of your div tag has uh, having the border of 5 pixels solid pink you can see in the output and having some different bits so if I want to just change the width of your column I will just come into my styling part over here and I can just change it from here for example I can change it to 78% and now you can see in my output that my first uh, column is having the width of this 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 and similarly now what I'm going to do I'm going to just create a new row over here so I'm just copying this data and pasting it over here and I'm just changing it to 6 Seven, eight, nine, and ten away. Okay, guys. And similarly, I'm just copying this all and pasting over here, and just changing this to six, to seven, to eight, to nine, and to ten. And similarly, I'm going to just change this from here. So I'm going to just make it, for example, 65, 25.58, and 32.33. For example, 50, and let's just save it to 5 percent only. Okay guys, after that save this and now you can see that we have created two different rows over here and having this some different uh, your different uh, width which are whatever we assigned over there and this is when you have 5% and whatever the width we have assigned. So guys that's all in this video and in this way you can create different sections in your web page. As you can see that this is my mobile responsive also. Let me show you it. that as I change the width uh, of the device, my browser, the it will auto it will auto uh, it will automatically adjust the size of your columns and rows according to it. As uh, because we have uh, given the flex prop displays you to flex and assigning the width of the hundred percent to your row. So I hope you guys understand the working with the your rows and column and that's all in this video guys thanks for watching do subscribe to our channel for